We are here at 74 Garfield Street at the home of uh, Tom and Merritt Brock to do a little house history tour. They won this um, as an auction item um, during our fall event last fall. So Barbara is here um, and she's done a bunch of research and she's gonna tell us all about the house. Here I we love, go. I love this house. <laughs> It was built in 1885 by a bricklayer, and he lived in it. He built it for his family, which grew rapidly over the years. But it's a classic, simple, gabled, frame house, brick house. And when you look closely at the corners of, they're called barge boards. They're the coverings on the gable. There's little scrollings at the ends of each side. Lintels, but it's hard to tell, and I didn't want to wreck their house in order to find no. out. <laughs> it cool. It's hard to tell in part because they appear to be covered with uh, stucco like material. That doesn't my, make them all exactly. Well. My bet is that they were originally. trim like the, uh, they don't the have the art so cool we're kind of guessing all right now we're going to go around to the side before Here's we go in window. take a look at the sort of cornice fake mansard part of the roof on the bay it kind of looks like it's metal that's rusting a bit um and has yeah and was painted over to match the painted brick but there's still it's got brackets, it's got the same design at the end of the groove boards that's on the barge boards in front, so he was adding some touches. I really like this guy. <laughs> he did a really nice job. What's interesting though is where the paint has come off the brick, the brick isn't red brick. It's more like a concrete brick, but it's probably not. What's under there might be some other kind of paint. Hmm. Okay, we're going to go inside now, and Barbara's just going to tell us a little bit about the inside. We'll just see a little bit here. Here we go. A new door we just had. Yeah, lovely. Ooh, look at this view. Beautiful entryway. All this original woodwork. Barbara, you got any good stories to tell us? Well, I will tell you that the owners know way more about the changes in the interior than I do, but what I love is that the door frames and moldings have been replicated. There was enough uh, original work still left that, frankly, it's hard to tell the difference between the replaced and the original stuff, these you guys did a great job with that. But yeah, Leo, Mr. Leo had a large family, and my guess, based on census records, is that this was built as a single family house. Even though it morphed later into a multi-unit building, he clearly needed space for his growing family. Big family, nice. But yeah, the guy appears to have been quite active in the Irish community in St. Paul, which of course fits. When you go through the census records, you walk down the street and everybody on one of the pages of a census record lists themselves as having been born in Ireland. So it was an 
enclave here. <laughs> but lots of Irish. Lots of Irish, just in this block. Mm -hmm. Don't know if it expanded any further um, east or north, but cool. the other thing that was fun about this house is how it morphed over the years just outside. He had his brickwork business here, so um, when he built this house, he, according to another article, he built the house next door, which one presumes was made out of brick, and uh, had his whole operation based out of 74 Garfield Street. Storage buildings stretching all the way back to the alley. And Pretty cool. Pretty, it is. Thanks I for, got a boy in this. Yeah. Thanks for doing this. It was fun. <laughs>